Welcome to the second video of this section, Introduction to Ansible. Ansible is an open source configuration management, software provisioning, and application deployment tool set created by Michael DeHaan in 2012. It was later acquired by Red Hat Inc. in 2015. And since then, Red Hat Inc. and the open source community have further developed and improved the platform. Whilst many refer to Ansible as a specific entity, it is a multitude of tools, modules, and software defined infrastructure that are collectively the Ansible toolset. In this introductory section, we're going to take a look at some of the more well known core components of Ansible. A major factor in the success of Ansible is the extensive library of modules that are openly available for consumption. There are modules that cover many areas, including cloud computing, networking, server configuration and management, virtualization, containerization, and more. Given the size of the module catalog, there may be an Ansible module already out there to support the automation requirements that you have, and I encourage you at this point to have a look at the URL listed. If there isn't a module for your needs, there's also the opportunity to create a custom module using the extensible framework that is native to Ansible. We will be making use of modules as we proceed through the course, and in the advanced sections, we'll also cover the process for creating custom modules. The next core component is the Ansible Executable, a highly versatile tool that acts as a Swiss Army knife for your automation requirements. Quite simply, type in Ansible on a system where Ansible is installed. It's an excellent gateway point for starting an Ansible project, for setting up your Ansible execution environment, and for everyday usage. As a tool, it allows you to interact with both Ansible modules and your Ansible target infrastructure. Therefore, extending the power of modules to the command line. We'll be starting our journey with the use of this tool, Ansible Playbook. Through the use of the Ansible Playbook Executable, it allows you to work with Ansible's human-readable configuration, deployment, and orchestration language. A playbook is, as the name implies, a book of plays with a play depicting the configuration and changes that you would like to achieve against a given set of targets. The language, whilst human readable, provides versatility, and a playbook can comprise of a simple set of tasks to advance configurations, leveraging Ansible features such as rolling updates, parallel execution, and roles. In this course, we'll be covering in depth. Ansible playbooks, the Ansible language, and the advanced components that can be leveraged to fully exploit the power of Ansible. Lastly, for this introduction, we mention the concept of inventories. Inventories are a collection of targets, most commonly comprised of hosts, but can also relate to other components such as network switches, containers, storage arrays, or other physical and virtual components that we wish to interact with through Ansible. The inventory also provides useful information that we can use alongside our targets during the Ansible execution. Inventories can be quite simple, where they are a text file with a selection of targets. There's also the ability to create dynamic inventories, where the inventory is an executable with the data being sourced dynamically. This opens up a lot of flexibility where we store our data elsewhere and make use of it at runtime. We'll be looking at dynamic inventories with the likes of Amazon Web Services and we'll be creating our own. These three components are the core of Ansible and around them there are many more that we'll explore on our journey. Please join me in the next video where we'll set up our Ansible lab and get hands-on with Ansible.